Hello viewers, my name is Salil Nayak. I am from Mumbai, India. I have done my post graduation in Bioanalytical Sciences. I am here uploading this video for all of those which will help them to increase the life of the column. So let's see the topic HPLC column and column care. Let us see the contents. First is the basic introduction to chromatography followed by principle of HPLC then general requirements of HPLC column physical appearance of HPLC column, general preventive measures of column care, mobile phase considerations, sample considerations of column care, pressure and temperature limits for column care and finally advantages of column care. Now what is chromatography? It is defined as the technical separation of substance according to their partition coefficient in two immiscible phases. What are the two immiscible phases? First is the stationary phase and second is the mobile phase. Now this is the schematic representation of HPLC which consisting of mobile phase, gradient controller, pump, injector, column and detector. Now this is the HPLC column. Basic how it looks like. All of us know but this is basically how HPLC column looks like. Now next slide, this is general requirements for a column. These are the general requirements. First is reproducible performance from column to column. Second is sufficient number of theoretical plates for the analysis. Uniform particle size packings. It should be easily obtainable, long lifetime. And finally economical. Economical is a very important point. Next, physical appearance of HPLC column. Generally made up of stainless steel and can withstand pressure up to 8000 psi. Length is of 15 to 50 cm and diameter is of 1 to 4 mm. It is made up of stainless steel or teflon or are used at the end to retain the packing material. Commonly used stationary phase is silica gel. HPLC column care. Now what are the general preventive measures? First is Column lifetime can be extended by filtering all elements and samples. Second, after installation, the column may be equilibrated with mobile phase. Very important point. Third, make sure that the column and fitting tubing nuts are compatible. Fourth, do not over tighten end fittings. Fifth, avoid sharp blows or dropping the column. Sixth, Avoid abrupt changes in the flow rate, eluent composition and column temperature. Next point, avoid operating the column at excessive back pressures. This can create channels or voids. Very important point. Now what are the mobile phase considerations? First is, use only high quality HPLC grade solvents free from impurities. Second, use only mobile phase that is compatible with adsorbent. Third, filter all mobile phase through 0.5 or 0.2 micron filter paper prior to use. Now what are the sample considerations that help column care? First is, filter all the samples through the filter paper prior to injection. Place a guard column between an injector and analytical column. Now what are the pressure and temperature limits? HPLC columns are stable at 0 to 60 degrees Celsius and at a pressure up to 5000 PSI it can extend also. Now what are the storage of HPLC column? First is for there are two types first is for short term storage. For short term storage that is overnight columns can be stored in the eluent used in last analysis. And for long term storage it should be stored in appropriate solvent. The water content should be higher than 50%. Now what are the basically the summary of the presentation do's for the HPLC column. First is do tightly cap column ends, do use purified water, do use filters, do check the purity of solvents when they arrive in the lab, do filter both mobile phase and sample, do store column at a room temperature, do protect the column from bumps and connections. Now what are the don'ts for the HPLC column? First is don't inject biological samples directly into the column. Second don't let the column dry out. Don't drop your HPLC column. Don't use low grade solvents. Don't use pH outside the manufacturer recommended range. Now what are the advantages of column care? Satisfactorily peak shapes, very important point. Satisfactorily peak widths, 
reproducible retention time this is also very important point reasonable operating back pressure satisfactory resolution of analysis of interest stable detector baselines and thank you please very important point please feel free to comment if you found this video helpful thank you thank you thank you very much